personal crisis, new relationships, old problems. This man, what? this woman. Time has come, my friend, that you should take steps to protect your position. A cry for help. Marin, you're the only one who thinks you have to be perfect. Let's face it, you need a break. Friday at 9, This Man, This Woman, Drama on Central. Don't you just hate it when that happens? Fosters, don't you just love it? You know, someone said it's a dog eat dog world. I think it was a chihuahua. But when things get bad, Morgan, Alaska. For documents and parcels worldwide, call DHL. They even go to Tallahassee, Lassie. Oh, yes, yes, it's definitely the six amp fuse shorting through the alternator, unless, of course, we've got to judge you. Oh, did Dad commercial. remember to join the AA this year? No, but I know a woman who did. Now you can join the AA from the comfort of your own home. Just ring 0800 91 95 95. The AA. We're all you need to know. I'm not a pheasant plucker, I'm a pheasant plucker son, and I'm only plucking pheasant till the pheasant plucker comes. And I've been drinking. First night. First night! First night. It's a beautiful show. Central TV. First night. Watch. First night. <laughs> Watch it. <laughs> first night. Oy. You're not doing a filthy program like that. On Central Television. Watch First Night on Thursday night. It's really good. Join Regan and Carter for the Sweeney on Central. That's Patrick Short. They really gave him a hiding. Shot him in the kneecap. What's this? Could be pain. Could be blood. Can't win them all, Guff. Too pushy. And he's heading for trouble. The Sweeney, Thursdays at 10 past 11 on Central. Next tonight on Central, Eddie Burns stars in the story of an Irish gold rush. But first, we're going over to Trevor MacDonald at ITN for a news report. At least three people are reported to have been killed in Moscow as Red Army tanks attacked the barricades near the Russian parliament building. First reports said they had been shot. Ambulance drivers said later two of them had been crushed to death by tanks. There are also reports that Red Army troops have entered the government building in the Latvian capital, Riga. Thirteen tanks and more than 20 armoured personnel carriers advanced. They had been driving into the city centre all evening. The death of the three people has also been reported by the independent Russian radio station Radio Echo. Ten people are also reported to have been injured by fire from Soviet tank crews. Thousands of people have been surrounding the Russian parliament building throughout the day. They'd used burnt-out buses to build a kind of barricade around the building. But the Red Army tanks and armoured personnel carriers have been trying to break through. Supporters of Mr. Boris Yeltsin, the leader of the Russian Federation, have been arguing with the tank commanders, asking them to pull back. The crowd has begun throwing petrol bombs, and several tanks have been set on fire and abandoned by their crews. Our correspondent Penny Marshall is just outside the Russian Parliament building. Penny, what's the latest? Well, from where I am, Trevor, overlooking the building itself, there are now several thousand demonstrators ringing it, and hundreds more on the surrounding roads, forming human chains to stop the advancing tanks. Those tanks are as yet not in our view. We believe they're advancing from behind the building, the other side of the building from us, where the earlier clashes took place on the outer limits Standing of by. the democratic defences. The demonstrators here are remaining calm. There have been more gunshots heard in the last few minutes, we can see ambulances racing to the outer limits of the defences, the democratic defences, presumably... Yeah, Marshall, thank you very much. That's the end of this ITN News report. We'll be back later if there are any other developments.
We'll have more news here on Central in about 30 minutes.